All right, folks, let's get started. Today we're going into a franchise that gets very little attention to the space sci-fi community, and that one is Killzone. Specifically, we're taking a quick look at one of the more impressive vessels of the franchise, the Cage, a prototype cruiser and the personal vessel of Jorhan Stahl. And without further ado... The vessel was first shown in 2360 during the closing events of the Second Extrasolar War. As the Hellgas forces were in open civil war as the next leader of their nation, Jorhan Stahl had the cage as his ace in the hole for victory. It was equipped with the latest experimental technology produced by his corporation, Stahl Arms, making it by far the most dangerous ship in the Helgen fleet. Though hard numbers are almost non-existent, it is known to be much larger than the roughly 4 to 500 meter standard Helgen cruisers, so just under 1 km is a fairly decent guesstimation. This size difference shows an odd disparity in the classification of vessels, as seemingly every capital ship seems to be tossed under the umbrella of being a cruiser. Notwithstanding, this ship can easily be considered a battle cruiser, or possibly even a battleship, if given a more appropriate designation. As befitting a proper warship, it is given a powerful suite of offensive abilities. With its single keel-mounted heavy petrocyte cannon forming the bulk of its power, it is a literal weapon of mass destruction that was intended to wipe out life on Earth, though it ended up devastating their own world of Helgen at the war's end instead. Aside from this nuke of a cannon, secondary weapons in the form of lighter cannons and missiles are very likely given its lineage from the arc cruisers that it fought against during the Civil War. Defensively, the ship is equipped with the first of its kind energy shielding, making it an incredibly durable vessel by killzone standards, which can normally be taken out by a handful of missiles due to their poor armoring. With its tanky but likely flawed shielding, if only due to its prototype nature, it also shares the thin armor of its predecessors. Should its shield be brought down in battle, it's pretty much a glass cannon, almost literally. Like other Helgen vessels of its era, it's equipped with an anti-gravity core allowing it to enter a planet's atmosphere without heat shielding. The core also seems to double as a warp drive that would have had a minimum jump distance of about 4 light years given the distance from Alpha Centauri to Sol. Given its large size, it also had room for a fighter complement as well. In game, about 8 Helgen strike fighters seem to be docked, though room for another dozen or so is visible. These strike fighters are more akin to very fast gunships than actual fighters, given their massive offense abilities thanks to missile racks and heavy guns. Even so, those strike fighters are maneuverable enough to take on other fighters, a deadly combination of traits. In this one battle it fought and lost in, it was entirely due to the hijacked strike fighters that managed to bypass the shielding and cripple the ship. Overall, the prototype warship was designed as a mobile strategic platform, using its planet-threatening petrocyte weaponry and as an armored attack vessel through the use of its fighters and experimental shielding, allowing it to project power and survive direct engagements with ease. Had the vessel actually made it to Earth, it is very likely it would have been able to pull off its mission and destroy all life on Earth. And with that, we've looked at the cage and its history. If you have ideas or suggestions for other Starships or Versus battles, please comment below. Thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe for more content, and remember, this was your first pass at the Cage Type Cruiser.